The North Atlantic region presents a challenging terrain for regular navigation, even in the middle of summer. Conducting complex ship maneuvers and military operations here becomes problematic. Strong winds are accompanied by almost constant rainfall, leading to stormy conditions at sea. Traditional British fogs also limit visibility to 5 meters. Daytime temperatures barely reach 10 to 12 degrees Celsius, dropping to 3 to 4 degrees at night. Additionally, the Scottish coastline is dangerous with underwater cliffs. As a result, the crews of all ships involved in the maritime phase of the training face constant height and tension. For military sailors, this training complex has become a kind of test, challenging their ship handling skills, especially in light of Britain's recent transfer of military vessels to Ukraine. They must demonstrate the ability to independently perform various combat tasks. To successfully tackle these tasks, they had to go through several steps. Firstly, they needed to master various ship maneuvers. Secondly, radio communication training was conducted using NATO tactical publications. Signaling with flags and other visual means was also carried out in accordance with NATO standards. Thirdly, replenishment of cargo supplies on the supply vessel was conducted during the voyage. The role of the supply ship was performed by the Norwegian Navy's patrol vessel, Nordcap. Fourthly, towing of a damaged vessel was carried out. The Ukrainian ships, Chernihiv and Cherkasy, performed this task. Due to the aforementioned weather conditions, this task posed special difficulties. The actions of the Ukrainian sailors were closely observed, evaluated, and received positive feedback from foreign colleagues. Military sailors, along with their counterparts on the similar minesweepers like the Sandown class, participated in the exercises together with the British ship, Pembroke, and Estonian vessels, Admiral Cowan, and Sakala. By the way, Estonian sailors have been using similar ships since 2007. The vessel, Sakala, worked together with Ukrainian ships as part of the mine countermeasure maneuver. However, the main task of these exercises for the Ukrainian sailors was the detection and destruction of underwater and surface mines using underwater vehicles like Cyfox, which located the mines, and underwater drones like Charlie, which destroyed these mines. During the exercises, Ukrainian sailors also conducted training in ship survivability, launching emergency life-saving equipment, and rescuing people overboard. It is worth noting that with the sea water temperature around 5 to 6 degrees Celsius, rescue operations required quick reactions. The training program also included joint maneuvers with NATO countries' ships, including the ship's evasive maneuver to prevent submarine attacks. The FOTEX maneuver was used for photographing the ordered ships from the water and helicopter, and the traditional CELPEX maneuver was performed during which ships and their crews congratulated each other on the successful completion of the training program. The peculiarity of these exercises was that they took place in the midst of the ongoing war in Ukraine. Ukrainian military sailors were not just training but also acquiring the necessary skills to carry out combat tasks, including enemy destruction and liberating Ukraine from occupation. These guys are serious, quick, and thorough in their learning, understanding the importance of their mission. Friends, if you are interested, support the channel by subscribing and like, we are trying for you, see you soon, all the best to you.